Are you a student or do you have to get some work done, but you're tired of quiet libraries or crowded and loud cafes? Well, I have the perfect place for you. Today, we're gonna explore the Seoul Startup Hub. And it's a free open space to anyone that's living in Seoul. And it's located right in the middle of the city. It has amazing facilities that is going to help you boost your work efficiency and creativity to the top levels. But before we go in, I'll tell you guys how to get here first. So this is how the inside of the Seoul Startup Hub looks like currently due to the COVID-19 situation. You can see that there are not a lot of people. Actually, for now, it is restricted for ordinary people to access this area. However, today I'm going to go on a tour of this whole facility on which parts you guys can actually use. So just try to follow me and I will show you the good places. So I feel like if you're on your own in the Seoul Startup Hub and you're here to mostly study, this is going to be the area that you will be using the most. It's the common studying area and as you can see there are a lot of seats ready for you. You also have brainstorming sections and actually use the whiteboards to brainstorm for your ideas. Within the co-working space, here's another interesting room. Let's go take a look inside. It's called the idea room. For creative people who want to generate ideas, this might be the perfect environment. You can also get access to the recent journals, magazines, and newspapers. Flip to the next page. You can just read what's going on with the world right now. And you can just sit down on a beanbag like this with a laptop on top. A wonderful place to just do your work and be creative circular meeting room you can just sit like a legit meeting over here discussion and conversation with your teammates Now you can proceed up to the second floor. You bring your lunchbox or your laptop and casually sit on one of these chairs and just work in this mid-level area. So right now I'm at the second floor. Oh wow, I can't hear anything but myself. I'm in this little egg pod. Once you're just done with work, when you come up to the second floor and just put yourself inside this egg and just casually rest. This whole entire place on the second floor is dedicated for resting. Let me just go on top of this figure and you have a charging pod right here so you can directly charge your phone and just like lie down and enjoy your resting time. So this is another part of the resting space. Uh, you have this little individual pod. It gives you a little bit of privacy and also you can just casually work on this desk we have external sockets here as well. Hold this down and make your own desk here. So it's very cozy and comfy to use your laptop. So now you got your co-working space, your studying space and resting space. But one problem is what if you get really hungry and want some real food? Well, that is actually solved here as well because in the back, you can see an actual kitchen that is ready for people who are using this place. And it has a very interesting theme. So let's go check it out. So if you come to the 11th floor with the elevator, just open this door. There's a smoking area and you can rest over there, get some photosynthesis, get some good sun. The terrace is actually pretty spacious, so you can just walk around, get some exercise as well. There's a little mini garden over there. Enjoy some coffee. And as I said in the beginning, it's open to anybody who is located in Seoul. Uh, you can just visit. I highly recommend you using this totally free, convenient, clean space. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.